Hi, this is Kathy at inkingpaperwithcat.com. Welcome to my craft room. Today's project is a pretty simple birthday card. I've got a few family birthdays coming up and wanted to get some cards started. This one is pretty monochromatic. It is crumb cake stamped with crumb cake with gold embossing on the sentiment. Let's get started. You will need a card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half folded in half. You need a piece of cardstock and today we're going to work in mint macaroon. This is four by five and a quarter. You will need a piece of mint macaroon for stamping and punching and today's accent color is going to be slate gray. Let's get our stamping done first. Now you'll notice on this, this is an all over just background stamp. So we're going to use mint macaroon ink and we are using the Birthday Blooms stamp set from Stampin' Up. Uh, this is just a beautiful stamp set. I use this a lot. So we're going to ink up our stamp. And cover our cardstock. Now I will tell you that this stamp's really dark, but it does fade out as it dries, so it has a totally different look. Okay, and we're not going to worry about that center section because that's where our sentiment will be going. Alright, while this is drying, we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment in Versamark. And we're using Happiest of Birthdays to You. Make sure you ink it up really well. and we are going to use gold embossing powder. Um, I'm sure you've seen this a lot on the internet, but I use a coffee filter to catch my embossing powder. And what I like is that it pours back in really nicely. Get our heat gun going. Um, try running it for a few seconds so that you get it heated up a little bit before you start your embossing. And let's see if you can get this where you can see this. There it goes. We're going to use a two and a half inch circle punch. And we're also going to use a two and a half inch circle punch for the gray because I only want it showing on one side. I don't want it showing all the way around. So what we're going to do is we're just going to layer this. You can decide which way you want your layer to go. And snail on the back. Alright, I'm 
let's put our card together. I'm using a Baker's Twine Mint Macaroon and white it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some fast glues to start with and I'm just going to put a piece here at the top because I want to be able to anchor my baker's twine. I'm just going to wrap it around, around. I'm going to go for a third time because I like that look. It's all anchored down. Let's mount this to our card base. We're using Fast Fuse. Now make sure that your baker's twine is the way you want it before you put it down because once it's down, it's down. Give that a good press down. We're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. And there we have a quick and easy birthday card that is also very attractive. I hope you've enjoyed it. And you can see that basically we've just done the same card with two different color schemes. And you could do it in a whole palette of rainbow of colors and have a nice set to give someone as a gift. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again soon.